Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Regular viewers will know I review many photographic and audio and video related products. Well today isn't a review. We're doing an autofocus test with the Panasonic uh, Lumix G9. Um, we all know really uh, from other reviewers that the autofocus in stills is pretty damn good and it, it seems to be pretty damn good in every mode. Um, what I wanted to find out is how good is it in video? I know previously I owned a GH5 and the autofocus on the GH5 was very suspect. It uh, certainly wasn't reliable. And most pro videographers, even with every camera really, use manual focus. Now I work by myself. It's really difficult to use manual focus because I can't get behind the camera if I'm in front of the camera. So I rely on cameras with really good autofocus. I use my Nikon Z6, great, no issues with that at all. Uh, neither with my Nikon Z50, um, absolutely great. So I really was keen to find out how good the G9 was because many people have said they've made vast improvements on the autofocus. The autofocus is contrast detect autofocus. Unlike the Z50 and the Z6, that has phase detect autofocus points. It's a very different type of technology. And the contrast detect autofocus is hunts a bit and pulses. Now what we're looking for in the background is whether the background is pulsing. Is it locked on my face or is the background pulsing? Meaning that the camera is trying to find focus but it just, you know, as a gnat snacker out. And um, so it's continually hunting to see where that focus point is. I'm hoping, and I'm pretty sure, that the G9 has solved that and it isn't hunting. Now I've got it at the moment set to AFS, which is autofocus single point um, in video. Um, I'm not sure actually, what the differences are at the moment between AFS and then there's another mode called AFF, autofocus flexible. And I haven't worked out, um, well, I know what, what they mean by it, but is that just for stills or is that for video as well? I don't know. Um, and so in a minute, we're gonna turn it to autofocus flexible to see if there is any difference. You have to change it in the menu. Um, and then the third one we'll check is autofocus continuous just to see how um, that works. Autofocus continuous is designed for subjects like if I'm move, continuously moving around, um, it should track it. It should be, you know, uh, it should look onto my face and track. Although apparently, even in autofocus single, once it's locked onto my face, my face should be tracked, you know, um, as I move around, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but, I think that's uh, locking onto me face. It's great having a screen, an articulating screen built onto the, built into the um, uh, G9. The Z6, I have to use external monitors because the screen only tilts up and down. It doesn't articulate out, you know. Um, and it's a nice screen on the G9. It's a really nice quality screen. And the audio levels are excellent. Being able to see my audio levels um, is uh, absolutely fantastic. And the histogram tells me whether the exposure is spot on or, or not. I think I'm slightly out because I'm only using one light, so I'm casting a bit of a shadow, but um, it's, I think it's quite nice. I mean, the aesthetic of it is quite nice. So um, yeah, that's in uh, autofocus single. Let's now um, pause this and then go over to autofocus flexible and see what difference that makes. I've now switched the camera to autofocus flexible. As I say, you have to go into the menu to do it. So the switch stays in the same position and you go into the menu to change it to autofocus flexible. Now, apparently in autofocus flexible, the camera will only change its focus if it feels uh, that I've moved enough to do so or something like that. So, you know, as I move around, the autofocus should still be locking on my face. To me, I think that's pretty much the same as autofocus single. Um, it might be different with taking stills, of course, um, but in video, I, I just can't see that there's going to be, you know, any difference. And I bet the outcome will be exactly the same. But that's what I'm doing these tests for. It's as much as for me as it is for you, the viewer, to see, you know, what differences this is making. Um, 
So there we go, that's also focus flexible. Again, what we're looking for is, is the background pulsing. Um, I'm hoping that it isn't. Um, and as I say, I know on my Z6 because it has phase detect autofocus points. Once it locks, it locks. Now, what might be different is if I... I have noticed with autofocus single, if I put things in front of a lens, it won't refocus on that subject. Maybe with autofocus flexible, it's actually more flexible. I guess that's what it means. I don't know. So there is um, a camera lens, and it is a Panasonic 25mm lens. I'm just holding up there just to see if it is flexible. Might be too close to the lens, to be fair, because I'm quite close here. I'm sat quite close to the camera. But that's an autofocus flexible, um, and it's black as well. Everything's black, isn't it? What have I got here if it might not be black? What about a remote control? That's black. Remote control. Is it refocusing on that or is it still trying to lock onto my face? And hopefully it snaps back to my face pretty quick. Ooh. Auto focus flexible on the Panasonic G9. Now we're going to go over to auto focus continuous. We're now switched over to auto focus continuous, and that's just the uh, turn of a dial to get it to auto focus continuous. Now that's great for following sports. So if you're following, um, you know, try, trying to track something, it will continuously keep auto focusing and it will auto focus on the subject. So um, again, I can't say, for a piece to camera such as this, um, that is, this autofocus continuous test isn't really going to do a great deal, I don't think. But what it might do is keep trying to hunt, looking for the subject. So I might find, may find that autofocus, autofocus continuous is the worst one to be in. I'm thinking for what I do, AFS is going to be um the best option which is autofocus single i.e once it's locked onto me face um regardless of where i move it within the frame i'll stay in focus and i'm thinking that's going to be the best the best solution i don't think continuous autofocus is going to be the uh, solution it certainly might be if i'm doing product demonstrations and i um you know want to hold something up like that very common that we do that if we're actually demonstrating the products and want to show a product um, and there it is um, autofocus continuous might work better from that point of view um, but I don't think it will in other respects so there we go that's autofocus continuous on the Panasonic G9 I've now had the opportunity to look at all three clips and I was really happy with them the first one AFS that seemed completely fine, didn't appear to be any pulsing in the background. The second one was AFF, which is autofocus flexible. That seemed pretty good, no pulsing in the background. And then AFC, autofocus continuous, with no pulsing in the background. No perceived pulsing, but I could see anyway. So absolutely chuffed to bits. And they all had face detect on. Um, and the lens I used, I've actually got fitted to my G9 now. The lens I used was the Olympus 12 to 40 Pro lens. Um, very, very nice, well, in fact, superb lens. Um, as equivalent to 24 to 80 in 35mm terms and f2.8 throughout the entire aperture range. So, as the lens and that's the camera I use, the Panasonic G9, as you know. Um, and yeah, very, very pleased with the results. Now, I did, because I used face detect, I actually don't think it mattered what mode I was in. Although, I redone the shot, well, I didn't redo it, I done the end closing shot, which is what I'm doing here. I'm actually filming this on my uh, Nikon Z6. And that, as you know, I find incredibly reliable and no pulsing whatsoever. Um, but when I filmed it on the G9, oddly enough, and I was really a bit frustrated, really, Oddly enough, there is pulsing on, you can see the, um, if you have a look at this clip now, you can see my computer screen 
in the background there, it's just pulsing a wee bit, in out, pulsing, pulsing. The focus looks pretty sharp on me, but the background is pulsing, and I hadn't changed anything. I had it on AFS with face detect, so I've still got a lot of questions to ask. Um, I'm still very happy with it. It's still a lot, lot better than the GH5, but if it's got like a complicated background maybe, or maybe, maybe it's the contrast and it's a bright background where before it wasn't, I don't know. If any of you that are watching this have any answers or any clues as to why that might be, can you let me know in the comments below? It really would be helpful. Um, but there we go, that's the combination I use, the Olympus 12 to 40 uh, on my G9, um, and I will be trying other lenses with it, um, and what have you. But that was that quick autofocus test, not conclusive, unfortunately, um, but there we go. Uh, may well help you, it may not, but uh, thanks for watching this video. And if you do like the content of this video, please hit the like button. And as I say, make comments below if there's anything that you can help me with. I'm very new to the uh, Panasonic G9. Um, thanks very much for watching. Hope you found it useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. That means a lot to me, helps me grow the channel. And thanks for watching this video. See you again. Cheers for now. Bye. <laughs>